Okay, my friends, more big breaking news, as I promised. Uh, Gog, Putin, is heading to Iran, who's going to be their main ally in the Gog Magog War. And they're already close to it, anyways, with a huge troop buildup in Syria, right on Israel's borders. And no coincidence, Iran's military just having a huge exercise of the mock takeover and overthrow of the Israel Temple Mount. And they've got Russian military advisors with them. They've got Russian military troops over there with them. I guarantee you they're all together training, getting ready for this big event, which is going to be the attack on Israel, the Gog Magog War, where they put Israel's back to the ocean. And lots of other countries are involved as well. Israel thinks she's about to die. She thinks she has no chance. And all of a sudden, God, G-O-D, not Gog, he comes up and supernaturally, like he did in the Bible so many times, uh, with confusion in their camp, or they'll kill each other and because of confusion and probably all kinds of huge natural disasters that he'll put out there. And he's going to wipe out 90% of all of them and send them home just barely alive, licking their wounds and showing Israel and showing the world that he is God. And I think that's going to be what really turns Israel around right there and has them understand that God has their back and through that, that Jesus Christ is his only son and they need him as their Lord and Savior. The I know they have a, a permanent covenant with God through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It doesn't count for salvation. I don't care what John Hagee says. I don't care what anyone else of the endless people that just lie about this. Everyone has to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Jesus said, no one comes to the Father except through me. And the Jews will get it right. The Lord will deal with them during the seven-year tribulation, which is the... 70th week of Daniel. That's God's time to deal with the Jews. Right now, we're still in the church age, the age of the Gentiles, after the imminent harpazo, catching away, rapture, whatever you want to call it. Read the Bible. It's in the original transcripts, Greek and Hebrew. Then he'll start dealing with the Jews. So, you need to make sure you're ready. <coughs> if you've never been saved by Jesus Christ, precious blood, or your backslider, you need to make sure you pray the prayer I have in the box below the video title in the comments box and do the six vital next steps because no one's guaranteed any more time in their life. And also in that box is my tribulation survival guide video. It tells you how to get saved and what to expect from A to Z in the tribulation, your last chance to get saved before all time runs out. Just make sure you're getting ready, my friends. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, contact me and I'll pray for you every day. True Christians, we are seed planters. We witness, pray, walk away, and leave the rest to the Lord. He does all the work. All we do is just follow his word and just point the lost to the cross of Christ and let them be saved by him. But true Christians, look up. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. You guys have a blessed day. Next time I have some news this big, I'll share it with you. Bye.